Hello from New York City. I'm Christopher Ong. Welcome to Beautiful Living. There are different styles and different periods of furniture that suit our needs and preferences. Today we're going to discover some of these by visiting the showroom of Elizabeth Pesh. Come with me. Hello, Christopher. How are you doing? Good. Mm. It's good to see you. Well, thank you for having me here. Oh, well, welcome. Well, um, we, we want to share with our viewers about different styles, different periods of furniture. And I know that you have such a good eye and good selections of furniture. Thank you. So, um, we would like you to talk about Elizabeth Pesh. Actually, when I was growing up, we moved quite a bit and my mother was always fixing up houses. Um, she always made our homes look very beautiful and um, my father was artistic, so I think it's kind of in my blood. You told me you went to school in France. I did, I studied in France um, and I was lucky enough to live with a family and I learned the language and I, from, from that time on, I had a really strong appreciation for the French. I yes. try to go once a year, sometimes twice, but um, definitely once a year and I've made relationships with some of the the French dealers and well I remember that's how we met in the flea market yeah. on two different trips that we did, we Christopher, each other yes. at the flea market that said oh my goodness I know you <laughs> so that was quite uh, some fun there wasn't it it is fun yes. so now could we share with our viewers some of the furniture I love the clean lines of Louis the 16th style mm -hmm. because I think they obviously can go with a traditional look but they also can go with a more contemporary look. Beautiful. But now I love these chairs. These are dining chairs. Yes. Um, I have six of them and there's four side chairs and two armchairs. Italian uh, designed by an Italian duo um, Mario Gottardi and Bega was his partner and they come from a hotel in Murano. Well tell us about the war sconces. They're Italian. They're from about the 1960s. They call them waterfall sconces. Oh, all right. They're two different tiers and they actually have the appearance of falling water. I love to pair it with something old like this um, French gilt wood mirror. I just think they complement each other. One sets off the other. This is um, an Italian 18th century um, writing table that I think is exquisite. It has beautiful um, marquetry on the front sides and in the back, wow. which is unusual. What you see in the showroom is much different from what you see, what I see um, originally. In the market, yes. You know, you at least have to wax things up uh, when they get back from overseas. Sometimes repairs here and there. If it's an upholstered piece, nine times out of ten, I will reupholster it just to make it look fresh. When I got them, they were covered in a pretty hideous red velvet and I just said I've got to jazz these things up and I found this metallic purple fabric. This is very lively, very young. I, well, it's funny you should say that because my 16 year old daughter saw these and said why don't you get stuff like this for us mom? So I knew I had succeeded when she said that they were wow. pretty cool. Rather formal chair but I decided to kind of liven it up by putting this um, beautiful French Pierre Frey fabric on it. Beautiful. which is a beach scene and I kind of pictured them in someone's beach house. Again, taking a rather serious piece and putting a more whimsical fabric on it I think is, is a lot of fun. This is one of my prized possessions. I'm very proud of this. Yes. This was designed by the famous Jules Le Le, a Parisian cabinet maker from the 1940s. And I just loved it because it has very clean lines, it's not too fussy, um, and it, but it has beautiful detail. It has brass detail throughout. And there's little brass sleeves on the, the feet, beautiful reading on the columns. Simple but elegant. It's waiting for someone's dining room. Beautiful, beautiful wow, workmanship. So, drove, so, oh, those you can put for your flatware. Yes. So tell me about the lighting that you have here. A lot of it is, is Italian uh, glass. And I am a strong believer in adding a little glitz and glamour. And I think this mid-century 
Italian Vanini glass adds some sparkle to any decor. It's so beautiful and so unusual, and I think you could design a room around that. It just makes such a statement. It's stunning. I think lighting is such an important element to any room. Both kinds of lighting, not only overhead lighting, chandelier, but also accent lighting. What you see here today are pieces that I've, I've carefully selected. I, I really don't purchase anything that I wouldn't be proud of in my own home. I like to think that when people shop at Elizabeth Pash, they will find not only unique pieces, but pieces of very high quality. I also like to have a few pieces that are more appropriate for country living or a house at the, at the sea, a beautiful French farm table that I bought in, in France, or a, a server that would probably go better in a, a country setting. That is certainly a little more rustic. Yes. I think it's important to enjoy life and enjoy the beautiful things that you have. And it's okay to mix things up. Now look how elegant a rustic cherry farm table looks with beautiful silver tray and porcelain cups. Well, we have shown you many different styles and different periods of furniture from Elizabeth Pash, antique and decoration. When you're ready to decorate your home, don't forget to come here. As you can see, she has a good eye and every furniture is from different period, different style. And needless to say, we also have this beautiful afternoon tea. And this is all about beautiful living. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next time for more Beautiful Living.